In a shock to the AI industry, Apple's AI for its iPhone has been shown to outperform the competition. The new system outperforms existing large language models, such as GPT-4, in determining context and what linguistic terms refer to. This stunning achievement has left industry insiders scratching their heads and wondering how Apple pulled it off. In this video, we'll take a look at how Apple's AI works and what it means for the future of AI on mobile devices. The Introduction of Realm Apple's new innovative AI system is called Realm, and it surpasses the renowned GPT-4 language model in capabilities. This is a significant achievement considering GPT-4 standing in the field. Realm's implications are broad, especially for enhancing Siri's intelligence. It aims to help Siri understand ongoing conversations better, interpret what's on the screen, and identify background sounds like nearby music. Remember that excitement is already building for Apple's WWDC 2024 event, which will happen on the 10th of June, with a lot of buzz around AI advancements, especially those related to Siri. Consumers have been clear about wanting Siri to be more capable, and recent insights from Apple's AI research paper gave us a glimpse into where the company is headed, highlighting the introduction of Realm. Realm is designed to boost Siri's ability to understand conversations, interpret screen content, and identify background sounds. In their research, Apple's AI team carefully compared the Realm against OpenAI's GPT-3.5 and GPT-4, demonstrating the system's strong capabilities and potential to advance AI-driven language understanding. This thorough evaluation highlights how Realm could significantly improve Siri's performance and user experience, pushing the boundaries of what AI can do for language comprehension. Recent advancements in chat technology led to the development of two versions of GPT free chat GPT and subscription-based chat GPT+. But even at that, recent studies have revealed that the remarkable capabilities of Realm surpasses both of them. Even the smallest version of Realm, Realm 8M, has shown significant improvements over previous models, like GPT-3.5, and even matches the performance of GPT-4. The larger versions of Realm, such as Realm 250M, Realm 1B, and Realm 3B, have demonstrated even more impressive capabilities. Realm's different sizes are denoted by numbers indicating the number of perimeters. M stands for million and B for billion. For context, GPT-3.5 has 175 billion parameters, while GPT-4 has approximately 1.5 trillion parameters. The potential impact of this technology on everyday devices like Apple's iOS 18 remains unclear. If integrated, Apple's virtual assistant Siri could significantly enhance its capabilities. Why Realm is different Realm stands out from other systems because it seamlessly integrates reference resolution into language understanding, setting a new standard for AI interaction with graphical interfaces. Unlike conventional large language model LLM-based systems, Realm enhances contextual comprehension and user interaction benchmarks. This innovative approach is ready to assist LLM engineers and AI tool product managers in achieving more intuitive, context-aware user experiences. By linking textual input with visual context, Realm extends the possibilities for enhancing digital assistant capabilities across various applications. Reference resolution is very important for all natural language processing systems, aiding in identifying and linking ambiguous references like pronouns or indirect descriptions to the correct entities in a conversation or visual setting to ensure coherent interactions. Traditional AI systems typically rely on rule-based or heuristic methods for reference resolution, often falling short in capturing the intricacies of natural language complexity. Consequently, integrating visual context into resolution using these methods proves challenging. Even voice assistants like Siri encounter similar limitations that Realm tackles by treating the problem as a language modeling challenge. Realm leverages LLMs to comprehend and resolve ambiguous references within the conversation's broader context steering away from rigid rules or heuristics. When handling visual context, Realm reconstructs the device's screen using textual representations, capturing spatial relationships among on-screen elements. The outcome? Realm-powered voice assistants can interpret commands like tap the button on the top right corner and open the second article in the list, which conventional AI systems often struggle with. This unusual reference resolution method by Realm proves more efficient and ideal for on-device processing, capable of resolving references locally without requiring continuous data transmission like cloud-based AI systems. This feature aligns well with Siri, offering improved privacy, reduced latency, and offline functionality. Realm also boasts remarkable scalability compared to earlier methods like Mars. 
Unlike those methods, which needed custom logic for each type of entity, Realm uses an LLM-based approach that adapts well to new entity types without prior specification. To illustrate this adaptability, researchers tested Realm on a novel entity type – alarms. They were pleased to find that Realm achieved a zero-shot performance similar to GPT-4. For instance, it accurately responded to queries like switch off the one reminding me to pick up Diddy by identifying the relevant alarm entity. This highlights Realm's ability to grasp language nuances and handle new entity types seamlessly, even without explicit training. The making of Realm So, the Apple research team carefully gathered a diverse range of data to test how well Realm performs in real-world user interactions. This dataset included different types of information like conversations, on-screen content, and artificial generated data. By using a mix of these sources, the team could thoroughly evaluate Realm's capabilities compared to other systems. For the conversational data, the team had crowd workers look at synthetic lists and then ask them to create clear queries based on what they saw. This helped simulate how people might naturally interact with information presented visually. The on-screen dataset underwent a detailed two-phase annotation process. This involved identifying objects visible on web pages, generating queries about them, and establishing connections between these queries and the specific elements they referred to. The results of the evaluation were impressive, demonstrating Realm's high performance across all datasets. In fact, when compared to Mars, a previous top-of-the-line reference resolution system, Realm showed significant improvements in accuracy. Notably, even the smaller Realm model showed gains of over 5% on the challenging on-screen dataset. This indicates that Realm is highly capable of understanding and resolving references within complex visual contexts. Realm's Bolster Realm's impressive performance owes much to its innovative screen encoding strategy. Researchers tested multiple approaches to find the most effective algorithm. Initially, they tried clustering screen elements together with each entity's context. However, this caused prompt length to grow excessively with more on-screen entities, making it impractical for real-world use. Another attempt involved tagging entities in the textual screen parse but keeping them separate from the main context. While this seemed promising, the best results came when the researchers directly injected the tags into the parse itself. The final approach, described extensively in the paper they released, is the injected on-screen encoding method. This involves sorting screen element centers from top to bottom and left to right. Elements within a specified vertical margin are grouped into the same line in the textual representation, with tabs separating elements on the same line. This clever encoding allows Realm to represent the 2D screen layout in a 1D textual format, helping the model understand spatial relationships effectively. Researchers confirmed the superiority of this optimized encoding approach through ablation experiments. The experiments demonstrated performance improvements with each encoding attempt, showcasing the effectiveness of the final algorithm. The streamlined approach not only enhances Realm's performance, but also contributes to advancing the field of screen encoding strategies for AI models. Each step in the research process, from initial exploration to final implementation, highlighted the importance of finding practical and efficient solutions for complex computational tasks. But how good is Realm? Well, I think we can say it's very good. The paper released by the company showed how Realm demonstrates its advanced abilities in handling complex tasks that involve different types of reasoning, such as understanding meanings, summarizing information, using world knowledge, and applying common sense. One fascinating instance described by the researchers involves Realm correctly interpreting the request call the evening number when presented with a screen showing morning and evening contact details. It intelligently identified the phone number listed under 5 p.m. to 9 p.m as the appropriate contact for evenings. This example showcases Realm's unique capability to understand context and apply logical reasoning, setting it apart from other AI systems. In another scenario, Realm was presented with a screen displaying text deadlines. When asked to set a reminder for printing documents before the text due date, it accurately identified the April filing date as the relevant deadline. This demonstration underscores Realm's practicality and its ability to comprehend specific details within a broader context. This practical demonstration showcase how Realm can adapt and excel in solving real-world challenges that require deep language understanding and advanced reasoning abilities. By effectively navigating diverse scenarios and producing meaningful results, Realm proves its value and effectiveness in practical use cases. What are your thoughts on this AI? Do you think it stands a chance of becoming the next big thing? Feel free to share your opinions in the comment section below. We have a mind-blowing video coming up soon, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.